So, that's it? You're just not gonna talk to me? If you have something to say, go ahead. Fine. Look, Joey, I, I'm, I'm here because I know. And I wanna help you deal with this one. It's my problem, too. What? Look, Harley told me. Okay, I know. You know what? About, about the whole you know, pregnancy. Oh, you mean the whole fake pregnancy thing she made up in order to lure you here under false pretenses? That whole pregnancy thing. So, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not, I mean, you're, you're not pregnant? No. Oh, thank God. Even if I was, I certainly wouldn't tell Harley. Hey, is this mine? Uh, where did you get this? Just one of the many non-valuables you left behind for someone else to clean up. Oh, I see. So I leave you behind there for you, send your little minion to come after me and trick me back? But perhaps if you didn't want to be found, Eddie, maybe you should have covered your tracks a little better. Did you... Did you call my house and hang up yesterday? No. Wow, well, you know, I mean, it makes sense. You know, I was pissed off about the way things ended between us. Oh, you see, you know what? That's where you're wrong. Because things actually never really ended between us, Eddie. You just up and moved to Worcester for no apparent reason without even informing me. Which to me, if you ask me, that's not really an ending now, is it? I don't care. I mean, now that I know you're alive and mystery solved, you can go. Joey, I left. But did you ever stop to think that maybe I did that for you? Are you dying, Eddie? No. Were you protecting uh, government secrets? Were you kidnapped by international jewel thieves? Is that it? Because otherwise, the only person you did that for was yourself. It was a nice easy out. I get it. You know what? You got it. You're out. God, you think it was that easy? It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Really? You know what? Forget it, okay? It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna go. Fine. 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 So why, Eddie? Why? <sighs> Because, okay? Because? Because. Because I couldn't even face you. Okay, because I was ashamed. Ashamed? Ashamed of what? Ashamed of, of what? Joey, I couldn't even find a job. I couldn't pay rent. They turned my electricity off. I had cockroaches crawling on my arm. But why would you think that would make a difference to me, Eddie? I mean, I'm poor too, remember? I'm just like you. No, okay? You are not just like me because you actually have a future. You actually have a life ahead of you. So do you. No, no, don't, don't you see? I mean, that's why I punched Hedson that time, because he was right, and I knew he was right. I mean, why is it that you're the one who, who, who can't see it? Joey, I, I'm nothing. I'm just a guy with, with no job, no money in the bank, no prospects, no education, no talents. Nothing. Hell, I even got the rejection letter to prove it. They said you had promised. Yeah, well, I say that to everyone, they reject. Yeah, but in your case, it's true. Look, I appreciate the pep talk and all I do, but let's face facts. I mean, you and I, we're, we're headed for two very different futures. And the truth is, Joe, is you deserve to be with the best guy in the room. Not the one who picks up his trash or, or buses his table. You're gonna have whatever you want in this life, Joey. I wanted you. No. No, you wanted that guy you met in English class. And I'm not him. I got I gotta go. 